This morning we're right outside of West Point, Mississippi, hunting with the guys at Prairie Wildlife. Beautiful piece of property, tons of birds. They got quail, pheasant, ducks, even got some deer hunting. But this morning we're gonna be after quail. We got a couple outdoor riders with us, a couple of guys here from the uh, Prairie Wildlife. So go quail hunting here in February, Mississippi. Let's go get them. So good morning. Welcome to Prairie Wildlife. If it's your first time, I'd like to say welcome. If it's your second or third, welcome back. We're glad to have you. Glad to be here. We want to make sure everybody has a wonderful time while we're here. We want to make sure we stay safe. So uh, like I say, main thing, we're going to come back as good or better than we left. Might be a little tired, but we're all going to have smiles on our faces. So uh, I ask that when we break out in groups, I think I got a group of three, you got a group of two, but we break out in groups to make sure as we move through the field, we're going to move through the field together. We may have to stop, rest, tie a shoe, whatever, pick up a bird. If we do anything like that and separate from the group, we'll stop the hunt at that time, pick up the bird, do whatever we got to do, group back up. When we approach a point, the dogs will be pointed in the field. We're going to approach a point. Your guide will put you where you need to be. We'll usually associate you either left or right of us and make sure that when we move into the point, we move in together. So if one takes a step, we all take a step. I ask that whoever's on the right of the guide always shoots from the center back to about 3 o'clock. So 12 to 3, whoever's on the left is going to shoot 12 back to 9. Don't ever shoot behind us. So once we either send the flush dog in or we kick the birds up ourselves, let the birds get up, let them get up about head high and get just a little space in between you. They get a little space in between us, let that pattern work. It's hard to hit them like this. It's a lot easier to hit them like with a tennis racket than a golf club, right? <laughs> Anything's fair game, so we may run across a pheasant, a chucker, a hun, quail, of course, but if you see it, it gets up, and your, dog, your guide says shoot, or your buddy says shoot, take it. <laughs> so there's no telling what we're allowed to see out there today. So I'm Scott, the other guy today. Tyler. So if you guys know you're split for today, let's uh, break off in our groups, and we'll travel over to the field and get started. Who wants my right side? Who wants my left I'll side? I'll take whatever. Cody, what do you want? I don't know. I'm left-handed. Do you want to be on the right? You need to be over there. Bam! Woo! Mississippi snowstorm. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of that one side left, but the other side's good. <laughs> good shot. Good shot, Kevin. Here, here. Here. Well, you know, quail hunting goes way back. My granddaddy loved to shoot quail, and my dad shot some quail, but you know, when I was a kid in the late 80s and 90s, we didn't quail hunt a lot. We were chasing deer, turkeys, and bass fishing. But it's kind of good to come back to what my granddaddy and, you know, my uncles all did back in the day and hunting these two gentlemen that's been doing it for a long time, learned a lot. And then watch the dogs. That's probably the best part of it. It's like rabbit hunting or squirrel hunting with a dog. It's all about the dogs and watching them work. So that's what, as you get older, that's what you really enjoy is watching the dogs get on point and then retrieve the birds. That's the best part. All right, gentlemen. Bam! Get it. Good shot. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. Charles, thank you. Charles. Release. Anything else? Good shot, Mr. Tony. Anything else? Good shot. Oh, right. Whoa, Bell. Whoa, Bell. Whoa, Bell. Oh! 
Good shot, Mr. Tony. Way to be ready. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Heel. Well, Mr. Tony, you did hit it. It just wasn't fatal. Take it in. <laughs> All right. We can progress toward the uh, west there. Bo's got us another point. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good girl. Y'all ready? Yep. Jimmy, how long have you been doing this quail hunting? Well, let's do this hard part that Sixty years, I guess. Sixty. Yeah. Why you still like it? I just love it. I just love it. I didn't hunt for twenty something years and started back. That's all I do anymore. <laughs> Whoa, Bill. Right there. Right here, close. Right beside Mr. Tony's foot. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot, good shot. If we'd have had that plan a little better, we might could have captured that bird. Get up out of here. There it comes. Get it. Whoop. Whoop. Bell needs your help. Either you or Charles one trying to catch this one. <laughs> In here, Bobo. What did he say, Mr. Jimmy? I waited on him. <laughs> Dead, Bill. Dead. Just think about Dead. this, Mr. Tom. Oh, I love it. I love it. Why Always like have. It? Why do you like it so much? Why? Love the dog work. Love pretty shotguns. <laughs> Just wonderful. Started it when I was very young and Got out of it, now back in it. So. Like riding a bike, huh? Yeah. This would be my fourth season with them, I think. All right. She might be on one. Let me get over here with this. Heel, heel, heel. Here, here. Floater. No bird. No bird, Charles. Up. Bam. Go. Good shot. Both Good of shot, them. Yep. Charles, here. Yep. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. Leave it, Bo. Well, we just finished up our morning hunt. Probably shot, I don't know, 20, 30 quail. Um, had two pointers working, and then we had Bell, the lab, going there and flush them out. 
and uh, hunter Mr. Jimmy and Mr. Tony had a great morning, shot a lot of birds, and uh, we didn't walk too far, but we had a good time. I think it went pretty good. We stayed in birds most of the morning, stayed in birds a lot early, but uh, we stayed in birds most of the morning, had several good points, and obviously several good shots. <laughs> These guys know what they're doing. <laughs> Was the weather right? Yes, we had great weather, nice. Nice sunshine. We had them squinting a little bit a couple times, but nice little breeze. Cool this morning. So I don't think we could have picked a better day. What do you think, Mr. Jim? If, if you just had some of that water gone, it'd be <laughs> it was still good. Quite right a good day. Give me, give me some time. We'll work on that. <laughs> Did you know that purchasing a hunting and fishing license is a direct investment in managing our woods and waters? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing, like providing public hunting opportunities on wildlife management areas, advising private landowners on deer and habitat management, providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes, and operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in our great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today.